Hey everybody, welcome back to Marduk Chapter 2 of Fallen Hero. This is the next chapter in the Marduk series. Chapter 2, a new hero, like I said, made by Pseudolone Wolf. Like I always say, I will usually begin with a similar introduction every time. Let's start, actually, let's load the game. End of Chapter 1, where I was level 4. And it's a new hero. Alright. And here's the little exposition of last chapter. It's been eight years since Marduk and Dugan went on a quest to explore the star that had fallen from the sky. The peculiar entity that called itself Rofoth had shared Marduk's body since then, but still refuses to say anything about his business on Belfan or even where it came from or who it really is. Marduk's life has been pretty unremarkable for the last eight years. He and his friend Dugan have been on many adventures, and though they aged, the spirit of heroism never left them, and they gave up on their dream. And they never gave up on the dream for being heroes. Not even after the death of their hero, Social Fox. Uh, his death was really bad for everybody, and Marduk and Dugan strove harder to be the next heroes of, like Social Fox. So they decided to join the Royal Guards, become the King's Men, uh, kind of as a police force, um, and applied for, as recruits. They've done extremely well, and it's their final task is today to prove that they are worthy of their title. Oi, Marduk, wake up! We have we are we have our test today. <sighs> oh, you're hopeless. If you sleep in like this as a guard, think of all the lives that could be lost. Well, why didn't you wake me up earlier? Eh, you look so peaceful. And besides, it was pretty early, considering I only managed to wake you up because I'm so excited, aren't you? I mean, I have our final test mission today. Well, it's a test. I don't think tests are very exciting. More like scary. I know what you mean, but though it may be a test, it's also a mission. Our first actual mission. I mean, up until we've ha only had frustratingly tame practice exercises and in the training areas with targets that couldn't hurt us if they wanted to. Today, though, we're actually going into the field to fight real enemies, to make a real difference in the world. I'm too excited to be scared this time. Well, what does this mission thing involve? I'm not sure still. I was hoping Jock could tell me if I could got up early and asked him, but he wouldn't, which is, was annoying. He said to wait for everyone else to get there first. Oh, but hey! Guess who I ended up talking up to for quite a while just now? I don't know. Who? Is it, oh, isn't it obvious, Smartek? Who else would make me beam like this just thinking of them? Your mother? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, ha. No, though! It was Amela! You talked you got to talk to Amela for a while? Yeah, I did. I mean, I bet you're pretty jealous. Well... Eh, you know I don't mean to make you jealous, though, mate. I would've talked... I wouldn't have talked to her behind your back like that at all, normally. Or, well, at all, normally. But, well, we were sort of near each other by chance, and there was this awkward silence that I needed to fill. Well, what's she like? Oh, she's, well, she's great. Just great, yes. Yeah, she's clever, funny... In her own way, sort of shy, which is which I rather like. Water. She's a lot, she's as good to talk to it as she is to look at. That's for certain. She's sort of scared and awkward about being here, though. Like she didn't join for the same reasons that we did, but because she had to. Sort of concerning, actually. Well, I hope I get to talk to her at length sometime. Oh, I'm sure you will, mate. Tell you what, if we ever get together for any reason. All three of us, then I'll let you talk to her and I'll say nothing, alright? Well, that'd be great! Hey, thought you might think so. You know what annoys me, though? That steel ass. Why, y'all are, he's such an insufferable idiot. I was just talking to him, and I was all and like, or, uh, hey, awkwardly at least. And I said, we were getting along well enough, but then he comes along and basically steals her away from me. I could tell she detests the guy. But neither of us dared stand up to him, I suppose. I mean, he's a big bloke, and he knows how to get his way. Ah, I can't stand him. Well, I'd like to hit him in the with a crotch and spit in his hair. God, it's just so irritating how he acts all damn arrogant and superior all the time. He thinks he's Yaw Lord's gift of woman, but it's so obvious that they all despise him. Well, except for most girls. Most, actually. Psh. They're all mindless floozies, though, who like bad boys like that. That's why Mel is so uh, different. Her uber macho ness doesn't work on her. His uber macho ness doesn't work on her. She's got more mind than that. 
I bet she only prefer rich, clever guys like us. Indeed. Anyway, we're wasting so much time here, Mark, dawdling around, gossiping like housewives. I swear, I've inherited that from my mother. We should go and report to jockeys, though, and get to our mission. Come on. All right. After all that talking, I may as well do some talking myself. So that's the beginning. Basically, Steel is an ass, and Amela is who they are in love with. Turns out they are not gay after all. Good. You are here at last. Now the briefing shall begin. This is our fir your first mission, so it won't be too hard. But it will test everything you have been taught in your training. If you have learned as you should have, then this will be easy for you. But you've not. Be but if you've not been paying pay enough attention, this will be. This is where it will show. This real mission, this is a real mission in the real world, and that means that there is real danger involved. You could die. So, we you all should have known the risk involved from the moment you joined. You, show no, you should show no fear, but stand strong and you will be okay. Just tell us about the damn mission. Patience is a virtue, yet another you will lack, apparently. I am getting to the mission now, though. Ahem. The brief about is, we have received reports that the Zem giants in the mountains just north of here have been attacked by the bandits. The bandits have made camp within the mines, are forcing the miners to man gems for them. They don't know to plan. They don't plan on staying long, but as of now, they are still there. Your mission is to enter the mines, stop the bandits, and free the miners. Um, when you say stop the bandits, what do you mean exactly? You may think that I mean kill, but I don't. If at all necessary, you are to disband the bandits and force them to retreat without killing them. So there's no bloodshed? What is this, the pansy brigade? If, it's a, if it is necessary, and there are no other options, then you are permitted to use violence and kill it if it comes as necessary. Sadly, some people are beyond help and only understand the language of the sword. Right, right, as quartons with our sword. Got it, I can do that just fine. That is not what I said at all. Don't worry though, Captain. The rest of us are sure will surely do our best not to resort to violence unless absolutely necessary. Right, men? You know, I'm against unnecessary bloodshed. Yeah, yeah, um, of course, I mean, I wouldn't hurt anyone unless, unless I really had to. Evil people do need to be brought to justice, but just slaughtering them mercilessly, we're no better than they are. Well, I'd only kill a guy if he killed me first. Good to know that most of you have a sense of honor about you. It gladdens me to know that you have f such fine recruits amongst our ranks. You will all make surely great royal gods. You bunch of sissies. Ah, I tried to ignore and adore, but I just can't stand you. Will you please just shut up with the attitude you just loud. <laughs> That's rich coming from a girl. That doesn't even make sense. Calm, recruits. Calm. Silence. Listen to me now. Don't stop the argument. You must set off on your mission now. You will get th in three separate groups of two. This shall ensure your fast coverage of the caves and allow you to complete multiple tasks at once. One team shall save the hostages while the others will go after the bandit chief. Now form your parties. I'd be pleased if Charla and I could go work together. Oh, uh, th th that'd be great, yeah. Marnik, you know we both, that we both want to go with Amel, right? And since I did sort of go behind your back earlier, I feel it's only fair if, you, if I let you go with her. So go on, speak up before. Amel and I would go together. She wouldn't want to go with those other weaklings. I'm sorry, but what? Since when have you been an expert on how I think and feel? Despite what you say, you know you want to come with me, baby. I'll protect you way better than those other puny sissy guys, or with their long hair and all. And all we want a little cutie pie like you to get hurt, would we? No, can't let that quarter's body of yours to be broken in any way. Ugh, you disgust me. Unfortunately, I'm not, it seems you have to go with steel. After our Mardik and Julian will be going to get this. No? Uh, yes, we are. Mardik, are you sure? Aren't going to stand up to steal and go out with the melon instead? Well, I don't think he'd react too nicely to that. I'd hate for him to be alone with you in those dark caves after I've gone off with the girl he was trying to go with. 
I'd still go with Miller. Yes, I suppose I see your point. Now enough with this briefing. This has gone on long enough as it is. You must go now. So be gone with you. Go on your mission. You are dismissed. We'll all make our separate waves to the cave and meet there, okay? Right. Okay. See you there then. Alright, let's go. This is our first mission as Royal Guards in the Castle of Gosnor, obviously. Go then. You are dismissed. Would you like to remind me about the history and purpose of the Royal Guards of Gardenor? No, I'll get to my mission. Alright. But there isn't really much to do in anywhere else, so I guess we will go to Gosnor. I mean, the gem mine. Well, we're here. Took your sweet time. Right. Let's. We shouldn't dilly dally anymore. That briefing went on long enough as it is, and I think we're suffering that these captive. And think of all the suffering that those captive miners must go through. We should act quickly so they have to suffer less. Conveniently, there are three tunnels, and even more conveniently, each one is marked with a signpost. The middle and left ones lead to the mandate chief, and the right one here leads to the miners' cabins, which I'd assume is where the miners are being kept prisoner by bandit guards. Charles and I will go right and rescue the prisoners. Marduk, Dugan, you go down the middle tunnel, and Steel and Amela, you take the left tunnel. Well, who put you in charge anyway? I don't like being ordered around by girls. Nobody put me in charge. I'm just the only one voicing and decision directions. I prefer not to think that I'm ordering anyone at all. More that we are working together as equals. Most of us, at any rate. But does anyone have any problem with me giving these orders like this? I'll stop it if any of you are in at an all uncomfortable with it. It's fine by me. Well, I don't mind. Um, you're, you're a great leader. You're only saying what I would say myself if I took charge, so it's, I have no problem with it. Good! I've got a damn problem with it. Why am I not surprised? Thankfully, nobody cares what you think, Steel. You know, because they have brains. Well, they damn sure well care. I should be leader of this party. I could beat you all up. You should listen to me. Well, Steel, unfortunately for you, we're not. But we do need to get to this mission done, lest we fail Test and the Miners. So come on, let's go our separate ways now, and and have no more of this bickering and banter. Farewell for now. Uh, all right, let's go. First of all, though, we're going to have to equip our skills and reactions, like always. Apparently, I trained my Marduk to level 5. I equipped his Sonya? No! Damage minus 20, damage plus... Let's see our inventory. Let's see, we got the typical longsword, crappy wooden shield, chainmail, a copper ring, whoops, and an accessory. Uh, great sword and chain mail. And we have the same items from last chapter because I loaded. Let's see what this sign says. It's probably also where the bandit chief may could possibly be, perhaps. Huh. I love some of the lines in this game. This is probably my second favorite chapter. Hey, Marduk, I know I see this every time we go on any kind of adventure, but I'm going to remind you of the controls again. No! Skip! I think you all know the controls. I'll explain them anyway. Enter to open menu. X to interact with things. Z to cancel. That's all. L and P to talk to people. Who should I talk to? Dugan. Come on, mate. No time for chatting. We've got all sort of out. We've got to sort out this banding problem quickly. And if we want to become guards, a good guard does his job effectively, right? That's what Jacques told us. All right, let's go. Uh, right or left? Your choice. Put a coin. I don't have a coin with me. Alright, I'll just go left then. Since I went left last time. I'll keep up the left trend. See if we run into any random battles along the way. I'm taller! The torch can actually scorch my hair this time! Power attack. I love the power attack. I use it all the time. It's more, it's less accurate, but it does more damage. Marduk, okay, just do your thing. 